over there just to help the leaves move along and one over that way too but not too strong just enough to rock that baby's cradle to give the poor mother a break but what I can't forget about who goes there it's rude to intrude on something especially if you're also approaching them from behind unless you're trying to hunt me down if that's the case I suggest you look into a new career. Oh, it's... Have we met before? Something about you seems awfully... familiar. I can't put my finger on it just yet. No, no, you can stay. The wind must have given away my location, so I won't be able to stay here for long. I'll finish up the breezes here, and then I'll be on my way. Us air nymphs cannot stay in one place for too long anyway. We have places to be. The winds move, and so we must move with it. We only stop for a short amount of time so we can help direct the wind where it needs to go. Whether that be to simply push a calm breeze through a forest, or to help our stormy sisters in the sky. Yes, dear mortal, I am an air nymph. We're rather common to find, but don't go trying to find more of us. Who knows what or who you might find instead. And let's just say I know from personal experience the Fae around here aren't too kind to trespassers. We manipulate the air. Well, the wind. We like to spend most of our time in the sky as well. There's more air up there. I only came here to rest my wings for a while. And if I'm being honest, to get away from my sisters. They talk too much whilst they work. We are supposed to be helping the storm nymphs later today, and they're far more... well... What's the nice way to put this? Spiky. They're not afraid to use their lightning on you if you do even the slightest thing to offend them. I've seen mortals be shocked simply because they bumped into a storm nymph. <laughs> no, dear mortal. You don't have to worry about that with me. Air nymphs like myself are more passive in comparison to our storm sisters. We're kind and compassionate to those who may stumble upon us. As long as they're not trying to hunt or capture us. You do not seem to be trying to capture or hurt me. And well, I still want to rest my wings for a little while longer. So here we are, just talking. You may ask me questions if you like, just so I don't talk about matters you find unimportant the whole time. No! I mean, ahem. Sorry, dear mortal. A name holds too much power to simply be given to someone you do not know that well. Even a nickname can hold just enough power for someone to do something horrible with it. It would be best if we did not know each other's names. Ask me another question. A different question. If you still have one to ask. You are correct. Most nymphs are female. We do not know why. Only that is the way we were created, and it is the way most of us stay. All that we do know about our creation is that we are born from the first breath of mortal baby breeze. Well, at least that's how us air nymphs are born. I do not know too much about the other nymphs like water or earth. Well, we might work together occasionally, but we don't really talk. We simply do our work and then get back to doing our own thing. We only know the storm nymphs so well because we work with them so often. It is rare you have a storm with no strong breeze. I've met a few water nymphs before, but we did not get along that well. They're very flirty beings and have more contact with mortals like yourself than any other nymphs. Oh, and their rivalry with the mermaids and sirens is a bit much at times. Of course I've met mermaids. Us nymphs have wonderful voices, and sometimes that causes a rivalry between our kind and theirs. Luckily for me, I don't work by the water that often, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. As well, I never sing by the sea. Some of the creatures lurking below those waters do not like to be disturbed. Although, I will say, I do enjoy the wood nymphs' company. They host the best season celebrations. Their autumn one is the best. Last year, I got to work with them. We made the leaves swirl around us in the most beautiful way. It was like being in the eye of a hurricane. Quiet, and yet chaos all around us. 
They also interact with humans and elves quite often, so I have plenty of grand stories to tell. They also pull the best pranks, <laughs> as long as they're not on you. I knew a nymph who was tricked by a wood nymph, and they never lived that moment down. We still call them... <laughs> Well, I cannot tell you their names, so you'll just have to trust me that it's a very funny one. <laughs> oh, wow. Dear mortal, you are very bad at hiding your intentions. If you think I'm simply going to tell you how to capture me, you are strongly mistaken. Why would I tell you how to capture a nymph? How do I know you're not going to attempt to grab me as soon as I go to fly away, or return back here and try to capture one of my siblings? If that is your attempt at a joke, then I admire your attempt, but you need some serious improvement. If it was not a joke, then I will pretend it is one, and you'll have to hope that a storm or wood nymph did not overhear us and wish to punish you for asking such a thing. Oh my. I guess it is time I fly away now. I have other breezes to catch and winds to follow. I... Well... Who would have guessed? I knew you felt familiar. Yes, I don't think I am mistaken. Your breath feels familiar. Like something I've known for a long time. It was you. You were the mortal that brought me to life. It was your first breath which brought me onto this earth. I... Thank you. For following the breeze toward me, my dear mortal. I... I must be going now. It was nice. No. An honor to meet the one that gave me the first breath I needed to live. I hope our breezes are able to meet again. <laughs>